And now we are digging deeper billions of dollars. That's what's at stake if a pension overhaul lawsuit is not settled and the reforms don't stand. We told you last night that certain state union members will vote on whether to settle their lawsuit challenging pension reform before it goes to trial next month. Political reporter Bill Rapley has the latest now. High stakes headlines, Bill. Well, Gina Patrice, that's right. The trial would determine whether the state's financial situation is so dire that saving money off of retirees is justified. But were the state to lose in court and roll the pension reform back to before 2011, those costs would be staggering. These same union retirees seen here voting a year ago to accept the settlement will be voting again in the next week. Special Master Frank Williams and a looming court date have come up with a final and best offer to try and keep the case out of the courtroom where it started. The truth is, both sides have a lot to lose if this case goes to trial. It might be too risky uh, to find out or too expensive um, to find out. Law School Dean Yelnowski is talking about legal costs and legal precedent that both sides might choose to avoid, but Governor Amundo is talking about pension payments that would be due if the state lost in court. The consequences are devastating. I mean, it's, it's billions of dollars uh, for the state if it were to lose the case. The reforms are estimated to have saved $400 million this year alone. That's enough money to fund the state police, the operating expenses of the DOT, and the Department of Environmental Management altogether. Of course, a trial defeat for the unions would have permanent consequences for them, too. And potentially, um, the legislature has the green light to continue to alter pension rights uh, as they see fit. But the size of the unpaid bill, if pension reform is overturned, will impact the handling of the case, he says. So I do think that the amount of money that's at stake um, does have something to do with um, the way the court will analyze uh, the case. So union groups will begin voting on the settlement offer later this week. If any of the groups reject the offer, provided the same process is followed as was the case last year, the suit will go to trial, a jury trial, and that's scheduled to begin April 20th. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC10 News in the studio.